united through dance, music, and a shared purpose. Thousands gather in Addis Ababa to raise awareness about one of the country's biggest killers, breast cancer. Frehi Wokderso is a leading voice among those seeking better health care, a role she took on after losing her sister to the disease. In a way, it is something to help me by helping other women so I can heal. Frihiwat, a cancer survivor herself, is outspoken. But she says many Ethiopian women stay silent for too long. When they diagnose, they hide it. They don't tell people until it gets worse. Sub-Saharan Africa has the world's highest fatality rate for breast cancer, with a five-year survival rate below 40 percent, compared to nearly 90 percent in the U.S. Frihiwat's foundation wants to change this. This is Alan Free Pink House. It essentially looks like a private home here in central Addis Ababa, but it actually provides shelter for women from rural parts of Ethiopia that have come here to the capital for breast cancer treatment. One of them is 24-year-old Hiwat, who struggled to find treatment in her home region of Amhara in the north. I'd given up. I was about to give up, go home and die. But because of the shelter, I will be able to stay in Addis and get the treatment that I need. The facility houses around 30 patients and their carers, many of whom would have otherwise been forced to sleep on the streets while seeking treatment. Access to health care is a major challenge, though the government is trying to expand services. In uh, six hospitals, we have already started on building the infrastructure, bringing the, uh, the materials for radiotherapy. I mean, half of them have already now uh, fully started, so we need to increase. This is very small for a country which is very big, as big as Ethiopia. For now, promoting early detection is the best way to save lives. Frehiwalt's foundation has helped 8,500 cancer patients so far. That's the best way, she says, to honor the sisters she lost. Jim Stenman, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.